breaking. Our obasojo double kali double crossed busy akode. Our obasojo double kali double crossed busy akode. Buari said. To my dear listeners, I greet you from wherever you're hearing me from, irrespective of your weather. Uh, of your weather, I say. Just sit and listen and stay tuned to, to the news I read today. President Momodu Bari has alleged that former President Olusegun Obasanjo's diabolically doubled crossed Chief B.C. Akonde, the All Progressives Congress, chieftain in his second term aspiration. Buari disclosed this at the public presentation of the autobiography of Akonde titled my participations in Lagos State. The president said, It is common knowledge that Akonde was the victim along with other 80 governors of a diabolical double cross which ended his gubernatorial career. Only the steadfast Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu escaped the electoral massacre masterminded by President Obasanjo. Desperately disappointed, Desperately disappointed though he was he was and being a good Muslim, he accepted this setback as part of the trials of life. He looked he looked to the future of service to the country. President Muhammad Bari has alleged has alleged that former President Olusha Gumabasojo's diabolical double crossed Chief BC Akonde. The All Progressives Congress APC chieftains in the second term aspiration. Bari disclosed this at the public presentation of the autobiography of Akode titled My Participations in Lagos State. The president said, It is common knowledge that Akode was the victim along the other AD governors of a diabolical double cross which ended his gubernatorial career. Only the steadfast Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu escaped the electoral massacre masterminded by President Obasanjo. Desperately disappointed, though he was, he was and being a good Muslim, he accepted this setback as part of the trials of life. He looked to the future of service to the country. Buari described Akode as a perfect public officer and the type of person he could go into the jungle with. He explained that the APC chieftain retained his inflexible integrity in and out of public office, never accepting or offering bribes. He said, It is common knowledge that Akonde was a victim, along with other AD governors of a diabolical double cross, which ended his gubernatorial career. Only the steadfast, Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu escaped the electoral massacre masterminded by President Obasanjo, desperately disappointed, though he was and being a good Muslim, he accepted his set, this setback as part of the trials of life. He looked to the future of service in the country. Meanwhile, former national chairman of the All Progressives Congress, B.C. Akonde, he has said he doesn't envy the position of President Muhammad Buhari as the leader of Nigeria. Akode, who observed rightly that many things are wrong with the country, said the people blame the president for everything, even when it is obvious not all his fault. The other statesman added, however, that such is to be expected of anyone who is a leader because the book starts and ends on leader's table. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Let's move to the comment section and let's see what people are saying about this. The first comment which I have says, By all means, throughout that fair, our history will remember him. But instead, Buhari came up with a baseless and irrelevant point, perhaps to massage the ego of the book writer over their internal politics in the Southwest the OBJ versus Tinobu and Co., which doesn't make sense because it is an issue within, within themselves, the Southwest, 
with OBJ trying to wrestle power of the governors, he didn't trust enough and the betrayal syndrome that is common among them. Therefore, Buari never got the joke by Akonde, you asked for the job, so I have no sympathy for your failure. A second comment, which I have here says, Buari owns more and had demonstrate how naive he is when it comes to analyzing political issues that has that has high wire intrigues. The title of the book itself should alert Buari that Akonde now chooses to tactically with, withdraw from blames that is now gaining ground among his kinsmen and women over the decimal failure of APC government headed by Buari, which leaves a sore and everlasting memory of pains and anguish in their minds. As such, he, he Akonde fears how Israel will rate him. Hence, he wants to defend himself. My third comment here says, PMB would not talk of how his mentor plotted in execution of a grand plan that saw Bola Ige, Funcho Williams, the original winner of the 1998 Lagos AD governorship primary, but was prevailed upon to allow Tinobu to candidate for only first time and Williams, and Williams would be candidate for second time out of the scene. Baba Akonde would never have been governor if Bola Ige never made him just to compensate him for loyalty to, to him since when he was deputy to Bola Ige. As governor, as governor old Oyo State, Baba Akode was never political heavyweight. A last comment which I have here says, but PMP diabolically doubled across the entire nation. We voted for him and imported foreign Fulani bandits to us. From the north to the south, Obasanjo double crossed the politicians to have home and regional based support, but PMB did not own to kill us, which is President Muhammadu Buhari. To my personally, I feel this is not just the right thing for the president to say now, because there are a lot, there are a lot to address, which are on ground, which I believe the President Muhammadu Buhari administration should address instead of attending even if he has to talk i think he should say something pertaining to what to what um to what they are doing at least as as it is started my participants in lagos state he should say i feel the the president should say something meaningful something meaningful than what he has said by now nigeria does not need um, what he just said, he needs, he needs, he needs a better, he needs a better orientation. The security needs a better reorientation. The police, the militaries, the whole needs a better reorientation. Nigeria itself needs a reformed. They need, they need a better reorientation. To my dear listeners, please do drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your view is all about today's news. Thank you.